That's a good well, idea. if you're like that gentleman down in southern Utah that got his hand stuck in a rock, you're going to want to know this next knot called a tourniquet. And it works like this. Say she got her hand stuck in the rock and we had to amputate it right there. Really, that probably wouldn't happen to you, but what would probably happen is maybe a car accident or something, uh, you know, where you could get some situation where you have a traumatic amputation or you just can't control the bleeding. Maybe you've got a really bad cut and you've tried pressure points and direct pressure and it doesn't work. So you're going to want to use a tourniquet. In that case, what we do is we go behind the wound. We're going to lay the tourniquet over it. Try to center it out because that'll help us out a little bit. Now we're going to go around and come up on top, top of it, kind of make it snug there, but the real tightening will come when we do the tourniquet. Now what we're going to do is make the first part of a square knot here. We're going to cinch that down, and now what happens here is this gives us a place that doesn't pinch the skin quite so much, it gives us a better tourniquet tie. Now we're going to lay this stick in it and use that as our tightening thing. We're going to finish off the knot. And now what we'll do, and since she's not really bleeding, we don't want to do it too tight, what we're going to do is do a couple of turns theoretically like this and keep tightening it up until we get the blood flow stopped. And Jennifer, you tell me if it gets too tight. Now I'm going to stop right here. We can actually use the tail of this to tie it off again so it doesn't untie. 